podiatrist told her she didn't have to come back to see her anymore because I was doing such a great job, and that made her happy. I know people interpret the relief we provide by cleansing, filing, shaping, buffing, polishing, and beautifying the nails as ingrown toenail removal, but what we are actually only doing is cleaning and exfoliating manually or with the use of tools, appliances, or cosmetic preparations, the excess skin causing the pressure that creates the discomfort. After a long season of feet being cooped up in shoes, you're going to have a lot of excess skin to remove, and soaking the feet and using cuticle remover is the best way for me to provide relief to my clients. Does that feel okay? At first glance, this area looks pretty normal, but I'm pressing back the skin and the skin downward because this is the corner where we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff out in just a minute or so. So keep watching. Here in a second, you're going to think, what in the heck is she doing with those nippers? Well, I'm opening up the area because it is all so squished in there that I need to see how far down this impacted skin goes. This is what I call my diamond mini cuticle bit because it isn't very powerful, but it helps file really close to the cuticle. It helps get that um, skin that's just on the nail plate. I'm not pressing into the skin with it. You saw how tight her cuticle was. I couldn't really press it back very far. And it's, everything is just really stuck. And then you can't tell by sight, but if you could feel this tip of her toe, it's like a that's like a really hard callus that you get on your heel and I'm just trying to remove a little bit of that surface skin so I can see better and you'll see why in just a minute. Don't forget to leave me a comment for your chance to win one of the tools I am using in the video. One of the subscriber comments will also be chosen for my comment hall of fame on my Instagram.
okay. Oh, here it comes. Almost. Twist. Poke. Oh. There it goes. Okay, I think next time we'll be able to get the rest of it out. I'm not going to take any more of it out you'll get back. Let's try to make the world a better place by helping those who need it and be kind, empathetic, and understanding to those who do. I'm at Hall of Fame on my Instagram, and I also want to know if everyone has polished their toes for spring yet, and what color did you do? Well, that comes from the fungus? No, this is just excess skin. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The, but the thickness mm -hmm. does. People have been sending me before and after pictures mm -hmm. from using the nail mycosis solution, mm -hmm. and it's in, it's amazing how their toenails have reversed. Now you sell that here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's from the Netherlands, but they just got approved to sell in the, in the United States okay. last year. Yeah. Now you can, Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. so for some reason, it's always like <clears throat> in the very corner, mm -hmm. in the bottom. Mm I have a photo popped up of the pedicure kit and in the past videos I still get hundreds of questions so I guess I'm just not that great at explaining that I do have an online store with hundreds of items and that the tools 
that come in the pedicure kit are my brand, the Meticulous Manicures. LPN and thank her father who drove her here because he didn't want her to fall asleep at the wheel on her way. They drove straight here after the end of her shift and without people like them I wouldn't be able to share as many interesting toenail situations with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You might wonder why I thin out the nail when it is uh, pinched like this. We need to relieve the pressure from the middle of the nail so the sides of the nail can lift up off the skin. It's kind of like snipping your waistband with a pair of scissors when your pants are too tight. In addition to removing the pressure, I want to thin out the free edge so I can trim the nail as short as I can. How do you trim them at home? What do you use? Um, well, I just, after I did, was using like toenail clippers, but then when I, I got a pair of nippers, and I've been trying that, but it's basically just getting little pieces here and there, like, yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't be able to really get no. a pair of toenail clippers around it. No, uh huh. Sorry, did I push too hard? I'm trying to figure out where it's attached. It's so important to know where the skin under the nail is so you never cut a client. So I think that's probably as short as we can get it because that is your skin right there. It's your, called your hyponychium. It's where the toenail attaches to the skin on your nail bed but everything's just pinched up in there so it goes up kind of high. Okay. But hopefully we can get your toenail to come back in place. So the easiest thing is to try to remove the pressure in the center of the nail and that'll help the sides of it come up a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna go slow and take a little bit of the thickness off. Okay. Did you ever consider having the toenail completely removed? Um, that's what my sister was telling me, like, maybe we should, she should just go and see if Well, people, people will ask me in the comment section, you know, why didn't somebody just have it removed? Uh -huh. And it's usually because most people don't want to have their toenail yeah. removed. Yeah. I mean, recovering from that is yeah. 
an ordeal. Like, oh, I like, I don't know if I could no, it's, I mean, it hurts, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. So if you can take some less aggressive measures and see if that works yeah. first, I think people would rather try a less aggressive route first. Makes sense to me. At least if I get it thin enough, you should be able to trim it easier at home over the next few months. This big toe is a better example of my explanation of how a nail gets like this over time. One, the nail begins to get thick for any number of reasons like trauma or nail fungus, and the nail presses into the skin causing discomfort, and someone trims away too much of the nail to relieve the pressure, and the nail grooves begin to disappear. The nail gets long because it's hard to trim, however, when there is no flesh under the free edge of the nail, it will curl even worse. So you have two strikes against you. And the pressure of the curling nail moves the nail grooves inward even more. So it's very important to keep the nail cut short during the attempt to reverse the pincer nail. Her nails weren't always like this. If they were, I would know it was a congenital situation and only try to control the thickness and the comfort level of the client. Just because her nail looks narrow, it isn't. The rest of her nail is actually straight down into the nail bed and it's really tricky to trim them because you can't really get to the edge of the nail to cut it. Feel any of that? That's okay. That was just the nail coming out of the skin. Oh, okay. It wasn't the clippers. Yeah. skin comes up. I'll try not to press too hard so it doesn't hurt you because that's you know tender skin underneath there especially if you have never had a pedicure. It probably feels strange somebody poking metal objects underneath your toenails. Just trying to determine how much more length I can take off safely. When you're finished watching the video, you can visit my website, themeticulousmanicurist.com and click the online store link to purchase any of my stainless steel tools and hundreds of other nail supplies. And then I gotta pull the skin away because I don't wanna cut it. That nail curves under so the edge of the toenail to cut it is actually underneath your toenail. Oh. I'm going to pull just a little bit. I think another variable that plays into when toenails pinch in like that, mm -hmm. the longer they get and the pinchier the tip gets, yeah. and then it pulls the rest of this okay. into yeah. the position. Okay. So if we try to keep it, the shorter the better. Yep, the okay. shorter the better. You'll have more control over it. I 
just started letting them go more because they started hurting more. Because it was, and it's so hard to yeah. to get a toenail clipper around yeah. a thicker nail like this too. I'm, I'm so scared if I cut more, it just make it hurt worse. Yeah. I don't know. And you feel pressure from stuff like, yeah. you know, getting impacted yeah. underneath there. better and then we'll put the acrylic on and then maybe you can try and come back in like four months three okay. four months yeah definitely i'm using the imperial feet nail mycosis solution to keep the dust from flying into the air while i use my electric file the dust particles that you cannot see can float in the air for over eight hours, but don't worry because the type of microorganism that causes nail fungus cannot survive in mucosal tissue, which is the kind of tissue in your nose and your lungs. I always get really excited when I do um, more challenging work like this because I can see the results in a few months in my yeah. head and I can't wait to see them in person. <laughs> I have one more apparatus too I'm going to send you home with gonna put some space in between these two toes because mm -hmm. you can see the pressure yeah. that this toe is putting on this one mm -hmm. and then it pushes this skin against this toenail and that's why this one is squeezing in okay. too so I think that if you have a little cushioning in between here the pressure will be eliminated off of both toes okay. and those nails won't be okay. encouraged to pinch together yeah But sometimes the, when the matrix of your nail thinks that there's damage going on, mm -hmm. it'll produce extra keratin just for protection. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see. Don't forget to leave me a comment. One of the comments will be drawn at random to win one of the tools I use in the video. And one comment will also be chosen for my comment hall of fame on my Instagram. Follow me there at the meticulous manicurist. I want to thank Aaron, Lindsay, Amelia, Jackie, and Melissa for your comments. They are being added to the comment hall of fame on my Instagram. Please make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on so you'll get the message if you're drawn as the winner of the random comment game. Feel okay? Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.